Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you will learn on how to use Microsoft Bookings for meeting rooms. So first is you have to make sure that you are using your web browser. And of course, you have to sign up or subscribe to one of their plans on Microsoft 365 in order for you to access the Bookings feature. So right here, I'm just going to type out Bookings. Okay, and then you'd be redirected to this section. And of course, before you can access this one, you have to subscribe to their plans. So as you can see, here are my meeting rooms. And then once you're here, you just have to click on this icon, this one at the top left of your screen. And then you'd be able to see here the bookings if you have subscribed to their plans. So you just have to click on the bookings option. And then another tab will open after clicking on this one. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. Then after that, you'd be able to see this personal booking page. And then at the bottom, you have your shared booking page as well. So since we're going to create a meeting room, you just have to click on the create meeting type or this one over here. Okay, so you can click any of the two. Then once you're done, you have to add a title for this meeting. Okay, so maybe I'm going to rename this one as proposal. Okay, so let me just type out proposal. Okay, so the title will depend on what would be your meeting all about. And of course, you have to add a category. So just click on the category. Okay, so for this one, maybe this one is a blue category. We also have green, orange, purple, red, or yellow. Okay, so after that, you can also add here your book time to connect with you. Okay, so you can leave here an important note for them to know and about the book time to connect with you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this one. And then next is you have to add your location. Okay, so you just have to click on the location and then you just have to click on allow in order for the outlet office at com to access your location. And you can also toggle the switch on for the Teams meeting if you want to. Okay, then after that is we are going to set our duration. Okay, so this one below the location. So just click on the 30 minutes. Then you'd be able to see here different durations. So you've got 15, 30, 45, an hour, or you can also customize this duration. So just click on custom. But for now, I'm just going to select the 30 minutes. And then here for the privacy, if you're going to select the public option, this will appear on your booking page. But if you're going to select the private option, only the people with a booking link can view this one. Okay, so of course, I'm going to select the private one since I'll be sending the link to the people who are going to meet with me. And then for the schedule, we're going to customize this one. So just click on this option over here and you have to select the other option. So this one, use custom availability hours. And then right here, you can also click on this one only during the following date range. So of course, you would like to add a date range so that they know that this interview or this meeting has a schedule. So for example, we're going to start tomorrow, June 10, and the end date should be June 20. So this one is available for 10 days. And of course, right here, if you're not bookable on Sunday or Saturday, so you can select the not bookable option. So now let's start to customize our time during weekdays. So let's start with Monday. So see, for example, you are available at 9 o'clock in the morning. So you have to select 9 o'clock. And then you will end at 12 noon because you have to take your lunch or snacks. And then if you wish to continue in the afternoon, so you just have to click on this plus icon over here at the right side. And then you'd be able to add here to start again your available schedule. So let's start again at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then we'll end at 5 p.m. So you just have to do the same to the following days of the week. And then for Tuesday, 
we are available again at 9 a.m. in the morning and then it will end at 12 in the afternoon and we are going to continue the meeting at 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So you just have to do the same. But if you are, you know, you have different schedules during Wednesday or Thursday, so you can set a different time. For example, you have other business to do in the morning, so you're only available at 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 p.m. So you can set that up. Okay, so it's up to your schedule. That is why you have to customize this one. Okay, so let me just set up everything over here before we save this. So let's go with Thursdays. I'm just going to add here their time. So for now, I'm just going to add the same time. Okay, from 9 a.m. to 12 in the afternoon. And then we'll return at 1 p.m. in the afternoon to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you're really particular with your schedule, so this booking feature on Microsoft is very helpful. Okay, especially if you have a big company or a recruitment agency. So this one is the best. Okay, and then after finalizing everything for the time of the week, we're going to proceed to the advanced option. So let me just set up for Friday. So let's go with 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now when you click on the advanced options, you'd be able to see this different options over here so you just go with buffer time before meeting so you can add here time before the meeting five minutes or ten minutes that would do for the buffer time after meeting and you can also limit start time to 30 minutes intervals and you can also send reminder emails to the person booking time with you before the appointment and you can also send automatic follow-up emails to collect feedback from person who booked time with you or remind them to book their next appointment. So after finalizing everything, you just have to click on the save button. And what you're going to do next is you have to share this one. So just click on the share button over here or this share icon. So you can send this using the link or you can email this to them. Okay. So for this one, I'm just going to copy the link and I'm going to open this to another tab and let's see if it's working properly. I'm just going to paste it over here and then just have to click on enter. Then right here, you, you just have, so this would be the preview of your booking page. So right here, you have the available date of the month and then the time during weekdays. So for example, I am going to book on June 11th and then i'm going to book at 9 a.m so just click on next then right here you just have to type out your name and your email and then just click on book so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve the concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye